Hey there, Vulture Hub. How are you guys doing? Uh, I'm sorry I'm not doing a cam video. I know you guys actually really like those compared to these, but I am really sick right now. Uh, <laughs> and I just look haggard. So I thought I, 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 I made a commitment. I make videos for you guys every Friday, but I just don't feel like being on cam right now. So can you guys forgive me? Because next week I'll be right back up and at him. Speaking of next week, um, June 9th is when we hear about Battlefield and a couple other games. So stay tuned for all that. I will bring you all the E3 news. Um, I think I'll do three days of coverage, the three days of coverage for E3. Uh, I've done it on my channel for the past couple years, so I want to do it here with you guys, cover the latest stories and stuff like that. But let me get into today's news topic for you guys, or not just not one topic i'm sorry I tried to trick you right there let's get into multiple topics so the biggest story that has been circulating around the interwebs on this week has of course been mortal kombat 10 the uh scorpion and sub-zero trailer which is playing right now for you guys to see it looks awesome but i've never been disappointed by a mortal kombat game since i started playing it on sega genesis it's been amazing uh, i just got mortal kombat well not just a couple months ago got mortal kombat complete edition so i've been playing that so mortal kombat 10 was just announced we don't know anything else about it there's going to be some returning characters there's going to be some new characters there's lots of speculation on the game setting story characters like I said but we don't know for sure we can only know when time goes on I guess is what I was trying to say but I am excited there's a new Mortal Kombat because the first fighting game for the new consoles was Fighter Within so Mortal Kombat will be was it the Fighter Within something like the Killer Within Killer Instinct whatever I don't know the name but Mortal Kombat will be the first multi-plat new gen game to come out. And I'm kind of excited for it because I've loved, like I said, I've loved the Mortal Kombat series for as long as I can remember. The Xbox One controller now has a Windows driver, so you can use it with your PC now. I use a 360 controller and a PS3 controller for my PC. Depends on the software and the game I'm playing. But Xbox One now can be used with your PC. I don't know about Mac. I really don't. Don't play Mac. Mac is more for me is a design computer. Uh, I use my friends for design, but other than that, I, it's all PC for me. And also with the Xbox One news, without they're saying without the Connect, the Xbox One runs a lot faster, which means more power can be allocated to games now that there's no Connect. I don't know what this means for consoles that still use the Kinect. Don't really... doesn't phase me at all, you guys, I'm sorry. Just, it doesn't concern me, but... It's kind of cool now that the Kinect is gone. Just what can they do with the console? Push it that much further. And the last two bits of news... I'll bring you four pieces of news this week, you guys. Is Dead Rising 3 the quote-unquote Xbox One exclusive is coming to PC. It looks so good. I've wanted to play it since it come out. Since it came out, I know there's a date for it. I totally phased out when the, I was watching the trailer, but I know there's a date for it. All the stories will be in the description below so you guys can go read them yourselves. Along with Dead Rising 3 coming to PC is Arkham Asylum. Nope, Arkham Knight has been delayed. I know. Shocking. And disappointing. And then the last bit of news, this is what I wanted to actually report to you guys last week, but some bigger news came up was, I got, I brought you guys a lot of news this week, hmm, is Red Dead Redemption and the Bioshock series are not dead. Now with Irrational Games gone and Rockstar, they said they don't know what they're going to do with Red Dead. It was announced there was going to be a second one, but they weren't sure. The series aren't dead. They are being or going to be developed, which is nice here because Red Dead definitely needed another game. It was the best Western game I've ever played and I played Gun, I played Call of Juarez, all of them. Red Dead Redemption was amazing and Bioshock is 
aside from Mass Effect, my favorite game series of all time. That's all I have for you guys. I know I brought a lot more news than usual. Uh, but I want to spoil you guys because next week it's going to be all about E3 and the stuff we're going to learn in, in the next coming uh, week. So I hope to see you guys next week. I really do. I hope I get better. And I thank you guys for listening. If you want to see more of what I do, come to youtube.com slash floorhugger. If you want to see more of what Vulture Hub does, subscribe below. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.